welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine Destine. if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video i'm gonna be doing a maintenance vlog your girl has been looking pretty rough i mean aside from right now like i obviously don't look rough right now i just do my hair and my makeup to film another video oh my god i'm looking rough kind of like you know no nails no pedicure need to wax do need to do my brows like i just got makeup on but like i need to actually do my brows and a bunch of other maintenance i think i'm gonna get my lashes done as well girl we're just gonna you know do maintenance together but your girl's looking cute right now <laughs> i will say oh we're gonna be dyeing my hair too in this video so yeah we're just gonna get do some maintenance together so if you guys are excited for maintenance then make sure you keep watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and yeah let's just get into her so i'm actually going to head to the nail salon right now because i want to get a pedicure my toes look so busted it's been over a month since i've gotten my feet done i deserve it i need to sit in a nice comfy chair and have a lady scrub the bottom of my foot and get this dead skin around my cuticle like i really need that in my life my toes look crazy and it's okay because it's like winter and i've just been wearing like closed toe everything so like no one's seen my feet but i have to see my feet and i don't want my feet to look better than what they do look right now like they look crazy right now so we're gonna go get a pedicure i'm gonna stop at starbucks first because i'm literally starving and i haven't eaten anything and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon so your girl needs some food and then after that i think i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna wax and maybe do my brows too so yeah let's head to the next one and then starbucks i just ordered a chai latte but i got it hot because it's cold outside and i added i got a chai latte with oat milk and i added two pumps of apple crisp it's not focus on me apple crisp syrup because someone suggested that the other day and i tried it and i really liked it so now this is gonna be my go-to. And I got a sausage cheddar and egg. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you from here? No. New York. Maryland? What's your name? Angel. Angel, nice to meet you. Okay, I just got to the nail salon. My hair, it started to rain. It started to rain, so I put my hood on and it kind of crushed my hair. I'm just gonna get pink on my toes. So great. <laughs> It's the next day. Yesterday I went and got my toes done. And I thought I was gonna wax yesterday, but I didn't end up doing it. I was being a little lazy. But today I actually just pulled up to my lash text place. I'm about to get my lashes done. It's been a minute. It's been several months. I think the last time I had them done, yeah, was for vacation back in August. So I gave them a little rest. But I just want to start the new year with 
a full set and I'm actually gonna tell her I want to do like a softer set this time around I'm gonna try like a more not supernatural because I feel like there's no point but I usually get a mega volume set and this time I'm just gonna get a regular volume set still with my little 3d spikes um so I don't know how they're gonna turn out but she does a great job each time this is the before when I come out I know the Sun is gonna be set and everything but yeah, your girls with the get out of that. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do my nails later because I actually need to do my nails. Like that has to happen. But yeah, let's head inside. So I just finished. She did such a good job. We did D curl. Um, I think my longest lengths are 20. And I I specifically wanted like a cat eye and it looks so good. Like she snapped. <laughs> Wow, the sun is like it's setting basically. But your girl got her lashes done. They look so cute. I like that we went softer too. So, like I said, I decided to do volume instead of mega volume. And I actually really like it. I think that this is gonna be like my go to. I think I would do mega volume if I'm going on vacation, which I'll probably be doing in a couple weeks. But I feel like this is like better for like my day to day. Like, still there, still very pretty. I like these she snaps um, I'm gonna have her info in the description box for anybody that's in Los Angeles and wants to book with her um, I'm literally starving I was laying there getting my lashes done and my stomach was growling over the music she was playing so I'm about to get in and out because there's literally like an in and out right over here and I'm so hungry does anybody else like to drive with no shoes on at least the foot that's touching the pedals and stuff. The other one I'll leave on, but like I always take off my shoe. We're gonna try doing walking in because, Chow, that drive through line is ridiculous. Hi, can I do a cheeseburger? I hope. You want onions on that? Yeah, can I have everything on it? You want pickles and chili? Yeah. And can I have an order of the french fries? And a pink lemonade. We'll give you the drink. We'll give you the cup and Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was way quicker to go inside and get my food. I think I waited like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes for my food. The last time I was in an uh, in and out drive through line for literally over an hour. Not doing that again. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. It's pretty good food, but it's not wait an hour long good. So I just got a cheeseburger and some fries. And I'm gonna eat this before I start driving because it's prime traffic time right now like it's literally 5 15 on a friday so i already know i'm about to be in crazy traffic and if i try and wait till i get home my food is gonna be nasty wait was i supposed to get my own ketchup oh my god stop i'm gonna have to go back inside and get ketchup i can't eat this without ketchup stop. okay i'm eating my food and I'll see you guys later. What is up you guys? It is actually the next day. It is Saturday. It is December 31st. Benson's right here. I'm about to wax. I literally just plugged in my wax warmer. Yesterday I didn't feel like waxing, but we're gonna do it today because I actually have somewhere to be. I'm going to a New Year's Eve like house party and I actually went to Zara earlier and I got a really cute fit. So I didn't try it on, but the whole store was on sale. I didn't even know that they had like an end of year sale going on, but they basically had like the entire store on sale. There was literally only one section that was like regular price or like new season items. So I got something to wear tonight because I didn't really have anything. Hopefully it comes together, but we got a wax. I got a little bit of a stash going on. I'm also making dumplings. So don't mind that. <laughs> I definitely have to wax my underarms. Like they're so freaking hairy. So we're gonna do all of that before, you know, I have somewhere to be. <laughs> I'm supposed to be leaving here by like nine. It's like six, 
It's like 6.37 now. Let me get my dumpling shell. My wax is melted. I want to take this ponytail out because it's actually so tight. Hold on. But I'm not going to fully take it out. I'm just going to loosen it. You know when you like loosen a ponytail, you can literally feel the pressure, like relief in your head. There's something wrong with me. Why am I putting my ponytail that tight? Child, anyway, so got my little cornstarch. You, got, you guys know how this goes. Wax warmers from none other than Amazon. I've had this thing for too long now. It's real crusty looking, but she still works. And she was literally $20. So tell me why. I was thinking about getting laser hair removal, like as a birthday gift to myself. And I was on TikTok, so I'm on TikTok. And I came across a video of like, I don't know if it was a dermatologist or what, talking about how basically when you get laser hair removal done, it makes the sweat glands in that area overactive and you actually start to sweat more in those areas so like if you get it done in your bikini area or your underarms you're going to sweat more and it's just like why would i want to if i'm like yeah i want the hair gone and i don't want it to grow back but i don't want to sweat more like i literally hate sweating and i'm such a sweaty person already are you okay that's because you eat ciao i'm already such a sweaty person i don't need to be more sweaty so i don't think i'm gonna be doing that yeah, that's kind of unfortunate because I was like really, really considering it. Like I was doing my research and everything and I kind of found a place that I was like, mm, I'm gonna go here. But then of course, TikTok, the algorithm is so spot on. Of course, they showed me that video. It's probably because of all the research I was doing. And it was just like, everyone was, and then there was obviously people in the comments that were like in agreement with the video, like a bunch of women saying, yeah, I got laser hair, move, hair removal done in my bikini area. And now I just like have to put baby powder down there because it's just so sweaty. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like I literally, forget it, forget it, forget it. I don't want to do it, forget it. So I guess I'm going to be waxing for the rest of my life. <laughs> Cause I'm not going to shave. I literally hate the way shaving feels like when it grows back. So I will not ever be shaving again, but I guess I'm just going to have to endure this pain forever. Like it's definitely something I've gotten used to, but it still hurts. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you like, oh yeah, it doesn't even hurt that bad. Like, it still hurts. You're still ripping the hair out. <laughs> like, it's not a fun thing. But the results is why I do it because my underarm hair takes literally like, probably like three to four weeks to grow back full. Like, I would say the last time I waxed was probably like three weeks ago, maybe three and a half weeks ago. Just make sure you're using cornstarch and not baby powder because baby powder is cancerous. I always start on the other underarm, the other arm, armpit. I'm not sure why I start on this side, but five minutes. Ooh, why would I touch it and it's still wet? You know what's my favorite song on this album? Like, I would literally listen to it 50 billion times a day. Girl! <laughs> so, the arm hits are bare. Period. Cornstarch on a mustache. It just got a little bit everywhere, but I only wax the top and I tweeze underneath. <laughs>
I'm actually about to shower. I don't know what I want to do with my hair because it's actually raining outside like really bad, like raining sideways because it's so windy. So this blowout is like, it's not going to survive. Like if I try to like do anything with it, it's really not going to survive. But I don't want to wear my hair curly. I don't know what to do. But let me show you these pants I bought today. I got these really cute pants from Zara. They're a medium and honey, they is tight. Like they snatch me in, but I think I'm getting thicker. Like I really do. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna tie it like this. Put this in the back. I'm gonna wear black heels. And this is gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup, but this is gonna be my look. I think it's really cute. Like, I think it's real, real cute. This bralette thingy is um from Skims. I guess I'll show you guys what my finished look is, and then I'll see you tomorrow for the rest of maintenance. So, you guys, I did my makeup. another part of this maintenance honestly as much as like i enjoy doing my maintenance because i like the overall like end look obviously i clearly am one to drag it out because like i can't do all of this stuff in one day personally i just cannot i can't do it to myself it's too time consuming and like i would literally like be exhausted maybe if i had like people help me a team i don't know going to get all of these services done but most of them i do myself so it's just no way that I can get it done in one day, two days. It's okay though. It's literally okay. I'm going to be dyeing my hair now. I made sure, I was like, ooh, well, let me do my nails next because I was about to do my nails. But I knew I wanted to dye my hair and if I dye my hair, I'm gonna get nail, I mean, I'm gonna get hair dye on my nails and they're gonna stain my nails and then I'm gonna be upset because I'm gonna spend all of these hours doing my nails just for them to get ruined. So we're dyeing our hair before we give ourselves the full set. Um, I like to use Dark and Lovely um, box dye to dye my hair. This is color 371 Jet Black. I got this at CBS. Yeah, I'm about to dye my hair and it's best to do it on dirty hair. I That's what I've been told in life and I feel like it just makes the most sense. Yeah, my hair right now is like dark brown but like you can see it's lighter towards the top I feel like my ends, everything is just dark brown. The last time I dyed my hair was probably like over six months ago. It fades over time, obviously, but yeah, girl, we gonna do it. So I'm gonna put on a black shirt, a black t-shirt, so I can dye my hair. And then I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna wash the hair dye out and I'm gonna shower and do all that stuff. And then I'm gonna do my nails. This is how it looks. My hair is like really dry and dirty. I'm probably gonna deep condition it too. Just follow the directions on the in the box, please. What do I wanna listen to?
figure don't have good rising signs maybe they are gemini rising or something but gemini's do this thing where it's like we could have a good conversation one week or one day we'll meet each other and hit it off for one day but then if i see you like in a few days from then they'll walk by me you guys i'm doing two strand twists on my hair i got out the shower i washed out everything and now well i did put some actually i put some of this olaplex number three which is a repair and strengthening treatment i'm gonna leave it in overnight actually i'm not gonna wash it out because i'm doing these two strand twists but this is my first time ever doing this on my head i've never done this before so i don't know what it's gonna look like or what it's gonna turn out to but we're just trying new things. It's a new year, so we're trying new things. Period. And I'm on the phone with my sister. I'm on FaceTime. Period. Nadia, say hi. Hey. About to do my nails ah, I'm so excited I'm finally gonna do my nails like finally so this is the before I got nail I got hair dye on my nail I know that's gonna take like I was scrubbing my fingers I got it all over myself yesterday like it was literally all on my arms and stuff but I got in the shower and I scrubbed most of it off but yeah it stained to the inside of my hand because it ripped the glove right here and a little right here and it stained my nail and the way I'm gonna set up I normally sit with my back towards my window like at my counter at my island but I'm gonna sit on the side so I can watch YouTube videos while I do my nails I need to lower my blinds so that I can have some, so the TV glare is not there. And I'm gonna get my light and stuff to set up. Okay, so I'm starting out by laying out my little towel so I can make sure I don't mess up my counter. I'm gonna be using all of these different tools and products today. All of this stuff will be linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll create a specific list just for my DIY nail stuff um, but everything will be linked on my Amazon storefront which will be in the description box this is the nail design that I'm gonna be trying to replicate today but you know I gotta do my own little twist to it I gotta make it original to me but yeah I got a new nail drill because my last one stopped working but honestly I had that one for probably like over a year and it was only $20 so and this one I found on Amazon too and it's actually cheaper so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buff the shine the natural shine off of my nail first that's the first step and I'm also gonna clean up my cuticles with the nail drill but I'm gonna change the bit that I'm using you guys will see in a second but you want to do that first and yeah I'm also using this like right along my cuticle but not all the way and then this is the piece that I use for my cuticle it looks like a little I guess like teardrop and it's very comfortable to use I have it on like a medium setting but if you want to use it on low because you're afraid and you might cut yourself or something you can do that but honestly the way that this tool is designed you're not gonna really like cut yourself it seems like it would be like hard to use but it's super easy so I went ahead and I cleaned up my cuticles and then I'm going in with my nail dehydrator, the pH bond from the Gelish kit and I'm applying that to all of my nails. I literally use this in every single video as well as this primer that I also got from Aprey. 
this will be linked down below in the description box but you have to use nail primer it just really helps your sets last so much longer it helps with the longevity and just with the actual like gel x extensions sticking to your nail so i highly suggest using primer this is the soft gel nails that i'm going to be using today from a prey they're the coffin shape they're not extra extra long i think they're just long um and i know i'm doing an almond shape so i figured it'd make the most sense to use the coffin and then i can just shape them as opposed to using my square and having to cut them and shape them even more before you apply the apre soft gel nails you want to buff the inside of the nail this is what's going to allow the gel to actually stick to the inside of the nail if you don't do this they will just pop off after a couple of days or after a week and then you'll be upset because you spent all this time designing and putting on your nails just for them to pop off so make sure that you buff the inside and you only have to buff up until where your natural nail stops so i don't have to buff the whole nail you know you can see and then i'm going in with my gelish kit foundation this is base coat you want to do a single layer of base coat on your natural nails and you're going to cure under your uv lamp for 30 seconds so that's what i'm about to do next but i'm just making sure to take my time with that and we're going to cure and then i'm doing the thumb as well Now I'm gonna go in with this builder gel in a bottle from a prey. I decided to use this nude color to fill the inside of the nail because it would be one less step um, instead of me having to, you know, paint a color on the outside of the nail, if that makes sense. You guys will see when I do my French, I don't have to actually like paint the nail because I already have the builder gel that's tinted to this nude color, like as the base. So I actually found this to be really easy. I'm using my little mushroom UV lamp to stick the nails on. This made the process 10,000 times easier and this little UV lamp was like $8.99. Um, and then I'm going in with a, a sharper cuticle nail drill bit tool and I'm just cleaning up any of the gel that kind of like might have seeped out along the cuticles and then cutting away any excess cuticle that I didn't get to because I just want to give my nails like a real salon style look like I want it to look like I got it done at the salon I want it to look super clean and neat I honestly hate when the gel seeps out and you can see it so I made sure to clean that up and now I'm shaping the nails into the almond shape it's like a pointy almond it's like half almond half stiletto we shaped both hands and now I'm gonna go in with this Beatles gel polish. This is like a mustardy kind of nude color. The picture was like more of a brown nude, but I actually went with a brownish nude for the base um, gel underneath the soft gel. So I wanted something that was a bit more contrasting to that. So I went in with this like really pretty like mustardy yellow color and I thought it came out really, really cute. I want to reiterate that you guys need to definitely do two layers of this because one layer is not going to be opaque enough, but it's a really pretty color. This did come in a set of, I believe, six other gel polishes, so you can have a couple of different options. You can honestly do this design any way that you want. I kind of just wanted to play with the colors a little bit, so this is what I chose. I'm using a paintbrush from Michaels to start off my French and then I'm using the actual brush from the gel polish bottle to like fill in and do my two layers but yeah you guys have seen me do French a bunch of times honestly I love a French whether it's on an almond shape like this or square I just love French nails in general so I really enjoyed doing this and you want to cure for 60 seconds um, every single time you do a layer so that's what I'm doing here and now that that's complete I'm gonna go in and do the other hand and that's what they're looking like okay 
and then I'm gonna go in with my black gel polish that I also purchased on Amazon and I'm just doing like these little bunky shapes I want to say it gives like a cheetah kind of vibe in the photo but I wasn't really going for cheetah like I don't know what this design would be called but I was just doing anything I felt like it was like cool either way because it was kind of just like a print you know like it just gave like a different kind of print and I got so many compliments on my nails um, I really actually really loved this design I loved the colors that I chose because they really popped and it was just fun and funky and you guys know I love stuff like that so I was just playing around with the shapes I was using the photo for reference but I wasn't trying to do it exactly the same I was kind of just using it for reference to like get the same kind of vibe going and then I'm going to do a single layer of top coats from the gelish kit love this top coat it's super high shine and it's just gonna seal everything in so I did 60 seconds under the UV lamp and that's what my nails is looking like oh crrr, they look so good and then I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil you know you guys know the deal I've done this so many times like these are the completed nails they look so good this honestly took me probably like three hours to do which was not bad at all I'm so obsessed with them so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed doing all of my maintenance we did our nails we did our toes we did our lashes we waxed we did our hair i dyed my hair to my little twist out i'm actually really happy with the way my twist out came out i like it i just wanted to get bigger like i really love big hair so i'm waiting for like day two day three hair to see what it looks like but i think it looks so cute i really love the definition that i was able to get on my hair so if you guys want me to do like a twist out like a dedicated twist out video so you guys can like see how i did it for real for real then comment that down below let me know but i hope you enjoyed this maintenance vlog i know i did your girl is feeling real cute real beautiful real just all the way put together let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe i love you guys so much I love you guys so much. We're about to hit 140K, which is like, ah! Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see my next upload. Bye!